ask if the Mongols do take Tsushima over, we can still pray to the Buddha. Are you sure? I heard the monks speaking about it. They were worried we'd be forced to take over. Mother spent her last weeks in the hot springs. Even then, she'd never get her hair wet.
My brother wanted to be a samurai lord, Sakai. He built a bamboo training stand, spent a whole winter practicing on it. Bamboo cutting. An excellent way to become a better swordsman. Perhaps I can join your brother in practice. Sadly, he died of fever a few years ago. But every time I see a stand beneath its flag, I think of him. And now so will I. Thank you. Take care. Hello, my lord. I was just remembering the words of my old master Saigyo. To cleanse the spirit, one must first cleanse the body. Hmm. Saigyo was a wise man, who spent too much of his later years singing in the hot springs. But surely you agree his words ring true. The healing waters, purifying steam, and shade from a red maple. Nothing beats a hot spring bath to steal your spirit for battle. I suppose you're right. That's exactly what I need.
Quickly, son of
Lord Sakai, please join me. The tale of Gosaku awaits you. ago, Tsushima was terrorized by the Red Hand Bandits of Akashima. Around this time, a farmer named Gosaku heard the spirit of a dead samurai calling to him. He found the body, still clad in brilliant armor. Overwhelmed by the armor's beauty, Gosaku stole it. Before long, the Red Hand reached Gosaku's home, knowing the farmers would lose everything if the bandits went unchallenged. Gosaku donned the samurai's armor. The bandits charged. Gosaku's sword arm trembled in fear. He resigned himself to death, but blow after blow glanced off the armor, and Gosaku did not falter. The bewildered bandits staggered back, tripping over their feet. A mysterious sense of calm suffused Gosaku's body and mind. Impressed by Gosaku's bravery, the dead samurai spirit guided his blade. 
Before long, Gosaku cut down the final bandit, and the Red Hand were never seen again. Years later, when Gosaku died, the farming families locked the armor away for safekeeping. Each family holds a single key to the lock. Now Terra stalks our island again. The farmers of Tsushima claim to have seen Gosaku high on a hill, looking for a mighty warrior to protect our farms once more. The armor is still locked away. And now the Mongols are hunting for it. Raiding farms across the island in search of the keys. Which farmsteads hold the keys? Oh. Aoi, Ijima, Kuta, Koshimizu, Ohama, and Yagata. If you find the keys, they say the armor is hidden on a hilltop in Akashima. The Mongols will never lay hands on it. Of that, I am certain, my lord. sign of any other monks though. the tribe. Some kind of restraint on her. She bit her tongue off. Blood to death. What did these people endure? Mongol tracks. What did they do to these people? wrong. The water, it was so shallow. I, I was only gone a moment. That's over now. You're here with me. Their minds are lost in a thousand hills. 
Who this? did this? He will hear you. Looks like an altar for some kind of Mongol ceremony. Samurai! The eagle calls to you! Chanting, so there was bloodlust. <laughs> Torment anyone else. I need to find out who these invaders are. Tell me what you did to these people. They heard the call of the eagle. The eagle? Is he your leader? She will lead the eagle tribe to your shores. With all of Iki Island at her back. They came from Iki Island.
came as soon as I heard. Those people. They're getting the help they need. But I don't know if they will recover. What happened to them? I'm not sure. I haven't seen these Mongols before. They claim to follow someone called the Eagle. And they're planning an attack on Tsushima. Those people lost their minds. If the Eagle can do that to the whole island... She won't. How will you find her? One of our people mentioned Iki Island. It's full of raiders and criminals. They hate the samurai. I know. My father led the campaign to pacify them, and he... He died on that island. The samurai retreated after he fell. Now something monstrous has taken root on Iki Island. I have to go back. The boat's ready. We sail on your command. Are you sure about this, Lord Sakai? Iki Island's no place for a samurai. I knew you'd find me, Sakai. You can go, boy. Straw hats are cowardly traitors. You all deserve death. And samurai are spoiled hypocrites who steal glory from real warriors like me. I'll prove it. Come on, then. your life in a castle. He, he made you soft. Then why are you at all? Okay. 
in a castle. He made you soft. Then why are you out of breath? in a castle. He made you soft. Then why are you out of breath? Farewell, Ronin.
grim reminder. Alone, never forgotten. Nowhere left to go. You, Nikolos Agnachar, she did. I get her of what does not have Natri. Some machine seem bad with a Marta Natra. You're going to be all right. What a relief. Thank you, Lord Sakai. Go and stay safe.
Hindwen! 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 In her ass, her word, my son. Be sent her now. So, Mota, so nothing will come to you. Please help! Indebted to you. Go. Be well. <laughs> that old man promised me a month's food. Now he says he can't. Negum Ben. Please help. You're going to be all right. I'd given up hope before you came. Go and stay safe. Saw Lady Masako riding. Oh, 
Hold still. You are the equal of Gosaku, my lord. As a sign of our gratitude, take this key to his armor. I will wear it in defense of the people of Tsushima. Never liked the Tomoe. Knew she was no good. I want answers. How dare you threaten us? Uh, my lord, maybe you can talk sense into them. Tell me what this is about. My lord, I am Saburo, a highly respected merchant in Umugi. If you want my respect, earn it. Why are you threatening these people? My family has gone missing, and these people refuse to speak. Something foul has happened. Why was your family here? I made arrangements for us to escape the island. We were to meet here, then sail for Iki. That's not possible. The Mongol fleet controls the sea. I paid a crew of smugglers to take us to safety. Unsavory sorts. But they've helped several families since the invasion. My wife Aki was terrified. And little Jotaro wouldn't stop crying. I had to do something. And now your family's missing, along with the smugglers. And these people know something. I will find out what happened. You will remain silent. Yes, my lord. But don't go too easy on them. Everyone, gather here. I need to speak with you. This man claims his family was here recently. Did you see them? 
Nothing? Has anyone heard about smugglers promising safe passage off Tsushima? My lord, I think I saw them. A woman and a little child clutching a toy. Where did they go? I didn't see them leave. I saw no one like you describe. I want to hear from each of you. They could have been here. There was a little boy playing by himself. I haven't seen any families. I only got here yesterday, I swear. He's running away! Get him! You! Stop! I don't know anything! Spare me, my lord! Stop running, you fool! I didn't do it! Smugglers were here. They led the merchant's wife and child away. I followed, but they caught me. Said if I told, they'd, they'd cut my throat. I promise you, they won't get that chance. Where did the smugglers take them? West. There's a watchtower on the coast. I think that's where they meet their boat. Severo's wife and child. That him? No. 
know I heard him. It's what I thought. Has to be him. Understand? Uh, they said there would be a boat to meet us. There's no way off the island. They plan to take your money and kill you. Was there a woman, a little boy, with you? No, uh, just us. Go home. Saburo's family might still be nearby. Recently, a toy. Maybe Sabro will recognize it. He needs to know. My lord, did you find my family? I found this. Hmm? Chotaro's toy. I don't understand. The smugglers. They lied to you. There was never any boat. No. Everyone in Omugi knows who I am. They wouldn't! They did. Your family is gone. I killed those responsible. 
You didn't save them. What kind of samurai are you? All of you! You betrayed us! You did this! You did this! Saburo, we need to stand together. Take what money you have left and help these people fight back. But first, bury your family. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you. You should be here, Uncle. When the island's free, we'll spend a week soaking in these waters. Halt, Ronin. State your business. I'm not a Ronin. My name is Jin Sakai. A samurai? Lady Sanjo will want to see you. She's in charge of Omugi Cove. Please, come with me. This way, my lord. It's important you speak to the lady. Lord Sakai, this is Lady Sanjo. Welcome to Umugi Ko. I see the Mongols haven't found this place. Thankfully, no. There hasn't been bloodshed here for many years. Anyone who draws a weapon answers to my men. Your safety is assured, so long as you abide by that same rule. Now, please, tell me how I may help you. I'm looking for a smuggler named Goro. <laughs> Interesting. He is downstairs, having his third bottle of sake. Enjoy your visit with him. Thank you. Come see me again sometime. 
I think we can help each other. Lord Samurai, please, I have a message for you. What's wrong? A demon is going to kill me if I don't tell you his tale. Don't waste my time. Demons are just legends. Not this one. His name is Kojiro, and he cannot die. Long years ago, Kojiro was a straw hat ronin. So fearsome, deadly, and bloodthirsty, his own brothers turned against him. From dawn until dusk, dozens of straw hats fought Kojiro. He slew them all. Those who escaped that day disowned Kojiro from the straw hat ranks, but never crossed him again. The spirits of death were so astonished by Kojiro. They blessed his armor to grant him a tireless sword arm. He's now more than a man. He's a slayer of legend. When the Straw Hats betrayed our people and joined the Mongols, they welcomed Kojiro back as a brother. Five killers from the Straw Hats have joined Kojiro and sworn an oath to kill you. Kojiro wants me to know I'm hunted. I'll be on my guard. No need, my lord. Kojiro will grant you the honor of a duel. But you must earn that privilege by dueling the five straw hats who joined him. It seems I already accepted his challenge without realizing it. And you know they're waiting across the region and we'll use innocent people to draw you to them. I'll finish this, and make sure Kojiro dies, as he should have all those years ago. Be careful. I've never met a man like him before. I'm not even sure he is a man. Chinese weren't enough for them. They had to fight <clears throat> each other too. They said the car would be battled his own. Lucky to me.
I would be honored to work on your blade, my lord. Apologies. You don't have what we need to do the work. You have my thanks. An honor to serve you, my lord. Genji, what are you doing here? Lord Sakai! My prayers have been answered. That remains to be seen. What's wrong, Kenji? Uh, I owe money to a bandit, um, Gon the Butcher. Then you should pay him. I will, I will. But uh, he wants to meet me in the middle of nowhere so he can cut my throat. What did you do to deserve that? He paid for a delivery of sake and medicine, and I might have skimmed some to help survivors fleeing Izuhara and... I didn't think he'd notice. <laughs> there are better ways to help people, Kenji. My lord, I'm an idiot. And you want me to clean up your mess? Couldn't you just watch from the shadows in case Gon tries anything? If you scare him off, he'll just put a price on my head. Your intentions this time were better than usual. I will help. Thank you, my lord. Where's the money to pay your bandit friend? I brought it, don't worry. Um, go and set the meeting at the bridge. It's, it's not far. Lead the way. Every time I get in a mess like this, I'm as scared as the time before. You want to help your nerves? Stop stealing from killers. But the first time Gon caught me, he wasn't even angry. How many times have you cheated him? Three. Why did you get mixed up with this butcher? I owed Red Hand Taro for misplaced wakizashi. Eh? And Gon needed sake for a festival. So, I charged him premium prices for cheap swill to cover Red Hand's losses. <laughs> the butcher must have loved that. Oh, he didn't notice that time. But when I did it again, that's when he got angry. And what became of Red Hand? I told Gon I got the bad sake from him. But I didn't think Gon would kill him. You're a busy man. I know, my lord. Trouble follows me everywhere. You follow trouble, Kenji. You should ask yourself why. The meeting is on that bridge. Let's stop here. Go to the bridge. I'll find a spot with a clear view of Gong. All right. And if anything goes wrong, I'll signal you. I'll shout, I'm so happy to see you. As you wish. Bandits. It's a setup. Have to protect Kenji. Better do it quietly. This many blades to deal with Kenji. Oh, 
see me if I go this way. Had to be him. Zips again, Fancy moves won't save you. Shaman Hood Lord Nemer You don't! <laughs> I owe you my life, Lord Sakai. You owe me more than that. Whatever you want. A sake, a saddle polish, a nice... Kenji, why risk your life over trifles? Not trifles. I need food, money, a warm fire. You helped me save Taka. Delivered medicine to people in need. Yeah. <laughs> that was heroic, wasn't it? You have a talent, Kenji. It's time you use it. For the sake of our island. Of course. Honor is my specialty.
Thunder Moon by Starla.
Yuzo said you're the greatest swordsman he ever met. I had to see for myself. You'd be better off taking his word for it. I've trained with the blade since I could walk. There's no one left to challenge me but you. They never did. You fought well, but we're finished. in the dark. Fear of what's lurking beneath. Guarded by wisdom. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Hold still. I will never forget this moment. Find somewhere safe. Be careful. For you, my lord.
Yuna. I thought you were in Yariko. I can't go back yet. Who did this? Mongol warlord, Altan. I heard stories coming out of Otsuna. He's terrorizing everyone, stealing food, medicine, slaughtering families. If anyone fights back or tries to run, they get butchered. Like animals. An old friend of mine runs the Ian down the road. I can't leave her with them. We'll find your friend and put an end to this warlord. Who's your friend? Her name's Ichi. I've known her since I was a child. She taught me how to survive. Have you seen her since the invasion? No, I haven't seen her in years. We should scout the inn. We'll have the best view from over here. That man might tell us what to expect inside. Better talk to him before they come back. Samurai, what do you want? We've come to help. You shouldn't be here. If they see me... We're looking for Ichi. She runs this inn. Have you seen her? God, help! Shut up! Trouble. Get ready! Seems to get big, Samurai! You're alive. Why are you here? We came to save you. You've killed me, Yuna. I was keeping the invaders drunk and distracted. 
but when Al Dan hears about this, about what you've done, you were working with the Mongols to survive. You should have fought back. And you should have run away, like you always do. She risked her life to save you. Do yourself a favor, my lord. Keep away from that one. Ichi, we can protect you from Altan. Just tell me where to find him. No one knows where he is. Not even his men. But if you really want his attention... Tell me. Find his most valued allies. The Japanese slavers who do his bidding. Make an example of them. And Altan will find you. Who are these slavers? Ask Yuna. She'll remember. I don't know what happened between you in the past. But she only wants to help. Yuna had her chance. What did she tell you? Not enough. If we want to draw Altan out of hiding, we have to earn his attention. The ghost can manage that. Where do we start? We hurt Altan's closest allies, Japanese slavers. Mamashi brothers. Ichi said you know them. I bet she did. Those three bastards run a farm near the river. When you're ready, meet me there. We'll do this together. I will. Thank you, Chief.